Well, by the looks of it, we're in the middle, first of all, of a, of a geopolitical reassessment of macroeconomics. And our country and our industry is probably one of the most exposed ones to the uh, globalization. So with the geopolitical situation, the dampening is quite profound across the European and, and continental European economies. And I think um, the, uh, the strategy forward will indeed have to do with a lot more spending on infrastructure. Our ministry is pretty keen to induce all our other um, uh, fellow ministries to look at the uh, way in which we can prop up infrastructure, other public goods which have not been well looked after over the last 20 years, hence being one of the reasons for rising populism across not only Germany but Europe. So the sea change that is coming up from Southern Europe, and we can talk about Italy and, and changes that Italy will want from the Europeans and from Brussels in a few moments time, but it, that's infecting Germany as well. The, the, the country of the, uh, of the balanced black zero, the balanced budget, Germany is ready to spend more is your message now, sir. I think there is a rethinking. We've had a lot of um, economists come up over the last four to six weeks suggesting that uh, public infrastructure, public investment should be getting a better analysis and maybe more encouragement in the upcoming budgets. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I think this can only work in line and in tune with the other European economies and therefore the work of the new commission starting in October or November will probably be the time at which we all have to sit together and look uh, at how we can reinvigorate Europe's and also Germany's economy. Because the criticism coming from Germany uh, facing the ECB, for instance, is about this isn't working, this isn't helping the Sparkassen, this isn't helping necessarily the Mittelstand, this isn't happening, working for the, the banking sector, certainly is when we heard that from Herr Saving only in a couple of days ago as well. So the message in Germany is less monetary action, but the message also is we will provide more fiscal stimulus. That's coming now, yeah? Well, I think the key issue that, that we have to confront is how do we deal with the savings surpluses in the northern bits of Europe mm. whilst we have um, a pent up uh, uh, in investment uh, somewhere else in the European Union. So the capital union, the economic union, the currency union will only work if we overcome that. And one of the big obstacles has been, again, political uncertainty. I cannot force people to invest in other countries outside Germany. Uh, speaking to German investors if they think there is political instability. So the big chance now in Europe is with an overall um, uh, uh, sit a political situation under control, will investment kick in? And if it does, then I think we will have a, a period of growth. Do Germans support also a change to stability and growth pact as well? Because I get the impression that's what's coming up as well. The, the Italians are saying, look, we've got this strange technocracy government going on here, this strange bedfellow as well. One of the prices to pay there is we want less uh, fiscal stringency on the rules. Do you think there needs to be changes to the stability and growth pact? I think, speaking from the Ministry of the Interior, what, what, what I would suggest is we take an overall look at the Eurozone. And if you, if you take a look at the Eurozone as a whole, it fulfills most, if not all, of the Growth and Stability Pact. Now, if that's the case, can we then reassess how, as a, as a, as a, as a unity, as an entity, mm -hmm. the Eurozone should go about its macroeconomics? And that's probably fair after more than one and a half decades of, of the currency union. And again, I think the new Commission has a huge task in both analysing and then convincing the member states, the key member states, uh, into a new macroeconomic approach. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.